So in this video, we're going to create a metal, metal profile sheet that we can use for the roof. And what we're going to do, we've got our basic building shape. We're then going to do file, our new family. And you need to find the metric profile million. Okay, and then open that up. Now I've already opened one up. Once you open it up, you then have this reference plane and that reference plane. So add a few more reference planes just to help you draw the shape. Now what I've done, I've got my profile coming a bit below. And this will just give you an idea of some of these sizes. There we go, 50 mil between those. And as we can see that I did a hundred mil and then from the center by right there as well we can see I've done 75 so a 150 across there draw that round copy it fill in the edges now just worth remembering take a dimension from this point to this point 350 so this will create those as overlapping sections which will be fine and it'll just help make sure it looks accurate and fills the, the roof space that we create um, okay once you've done that you then want to load it into your project and give it a name um, so maybe save it first of all file save as um, call it corrugated profile or whatever and go from there Oops and then load into your project. Now, in your project, you then got to, in the project browser, scroll down and find your families. So we will right click and duplicate. So this is in the curtain walls and then the rectangular mullions. We'll just duplicate that and we'll call it um, metal sheeting there we go and then right click on that and, and type properties okay so the profile is at the moment the rectangular profile that's not what we want we want to find our corrugated profile or metal sheeting that we've created and saved okay Material, aluminium, that's fine in this case. We'll click OK at this point. Now we want to create the roof. So I will do roof by footprint just for a quick easy one at this point. And just not too bothered about size. Only want it sloping on two sides. There we go. And now the roof what we need to do by here is we can select the roof glazing initially and we can tick that and we can say attach that's fine quickly look at that in 3d and we end up with something like that but if we edit the type and duplicate the roof and then rename it we can then call it profile sheets or such what you then want to do is change the grid layout to fixed distance spacing to the measurement that we took earlier and then we can select our mullion okay and we've got metal sheeting by there so i'll click on that and click ok and hey presto we now have our profiled metal sheeting and you could have created it at any thickness you wanted to suit the profiles that you have and there it is so we actually have that and then what I would recommend you do then is create another family for ridge tiles um, I've got another video on ridge tiles already so you could just create one that goes across there and flashes and covers the top section of that all right I hope you enjoyed the video and um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so